Let me deal with another popular polemic, typically raised by Muslim propagandists. The age of Mary and Joseph. Muslim propagandists will typically try to make Mary as young as possible and Joseph as old as possible. Now, why would I drag them down to this level? Aren't they supposed to respect Mary and Joseph in Islam? Well, yes, they are. But in order to try and make their own prophet look better, this is what they will do. Because according to Muslims' most early and trusted sources, their prophet Muhammad, in his mid-50s, married his child bride Aisha at the age of six. And he climbed on top of her and consummated the marriage with her when she was only nine years old. Yeah, I know. I know what Muslim propagandists will typically say in defense of their prophets. They will say something like, um, well, this was normal in the 7th century Arabia. It was normal to marry young girls and climb on top of them and consummate the marriage with them and stuff when they were only nine years old. This was normal. Yeah, I would argue against that, but I would rather just grant the argument. Okay, let's say it was normal in the 7th century to do that in Arabia. You know that the Quran, the eternal word of Allah, calls Muhammad the perfect example for all mankind. So the perfect example for all mankind, whom we are to follow and emulate, was a moral relativist. <laughs> moral relativism? Is that the objective moral values and duties for all mankind? <laughs> Give me a break. Moral relativism is not compatible with Islam and the Quran at all. Really, sometimes I'm just wondering if you actually just for a second stop and think about what you are saying about your own religion and your prophets. Let's get back to Mary and Joseph. In the Bible, there is nowhere to be found how old they were. And this is important to keep in mind because whenever Muslim propagandists and skeptics bring up this polemic, ultimately, at the end of the day, it's just rhetoric and assertions because the ages of Mary and Joseph are nowhere to be found in the Bible. But can we as Christians make a case for that Mary was a woman fit to have a child and that God did not make something immoral when he chose Mary to be the mother of God incarnate, the son, Jesus Christ? Yes, we can. Before I go on to show the external evidences, let me just give some internal clues. Mary is referred to as woman in the Bible. She's called woman by Elizabeth. Blessed are you, Mary, among women. And in many manuscripts from the Codex Alexandrius family, and Eusebius is using this too, Mary is also called woman by the angel Gabriel when he delivers the news that she will conceive the Messiah. So we have scripture, we have examples from scripture that Mary is called a woman. And furthermore, uh, not only do we have Mary referred to as woman before giving birth to the Messiah, God incarnate, when Jesus raises a 12-year-old from the dead in Mark 5, 41, he says, little girl, arise. Not woman, little girl. So our Lord Jesus Christ, God incarnate, calls 12-year-olds little girl, not woman, Little girl. But elsewhere in scripture, when he talks to the opposite sex, he always says, woman, woman, your faith has sealed you. Woman, my time is not yet. But when he talks to 12-year-olds, he says, little girl. Not woman, little girl. But there are also other examples that the Bible sets a standard that for sure we can know that 12-year-olds are children. Because there's also a story in the Bible when Mary, Joseph, and Jesus travels to celebrate Passover in Jerusalem. And after the celebration, Mary and Joseph travel home with uh, the rest of their family and relatives. And then they discover that Jesus is not with their family and relatives, that he's not with them. And what is their reaction? No, he's an adult. So let's just travel home to Nazareth and he'll come around a couple of days. Let's just go home. <laughs> no, they freak out and they rush back to Jerusalem and look for him. And eventually they find him teaching in a temple. And then they say, son, we were so worried, me and your father. And Jesus comes home with them and obeys them. Twelve-year-olds are children. 
and Mary is called woman. Now, as for the external evidences, the Islamic polemic of trying to make Mary very young at the time of her betrothal, giving birth and marriage, is not well supported by history. Because the age of Mary that Muslim propagandists will typically assert was simply not the norm at the time in the first century, both for Jews and Romans. I would highly recommend watching this debate between top Muslim apologist Daniel Hakikachu and top Christian apologist Michael Jones from Inspiring Philosophy. Because in this debate, Michael presents a bunch of scholarly journals and books that argues and shows evidences for this. And he also made a review of Daniel's review a couple of weeks later. And in uh, this video, he gives even more evidences.